that will. Some people, you know, there's a lot on the internet about for using DE and against using DE. But everyone who uses it says it helps. And But there are plenty of people out there saying there's no evidence that it does anything. In someone who does use it, they, uh, they mentioned using 1 to 2 percent of of the food weight if you have a pound then use uh, one percent of a pound uh, or a hundred pounds put in a pound of DE so if you get some 250 50 pound bags then stick in a pound of DE into it if you want to supplement that with your feed or I suggest putting it in with your uh, for your dust bath. So we talked last time about dust baths in our chicken coops. Uh, what you'll want to do with this is just put the DE in the dust bath and the the diatomaceous earth will actually keep the mites and other pests down using DE. And they'll, if they want to eat it, they can peck it right out of that. But they can, they'll definitely, oh, it, it's sold as a flea and tick deterrent or 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 killer it's all natural so it it's it, it can be used and and uh, if you stick it into their dust bath and they find that that they want to try to eat it then they have the option to the last kind of feed that I want to uh, mention today we're almost out of time I like to take about 20 minutes for these uh, podcasts cuz a lot of people's uh, commutes are about 20 minutes and we find that and I, th- I think that that's a good a good time frame. So the last kind of feed I want to talk about is fermented feed. Fermented feed has increased enzymatic activity. It's already began its breakdown. When you ferment the feed, it's already started to start its breakdown process and therefore makes the chickens digesting it uh, job a lot easier. Also, fermented feeds will help your chickens stay fuller longer, uh, so they'll eat less, and that means poop less. I read today someone had a, their a quote on their thing says, a good-looking turd is a sign of a healthy bird. With that, that is all the feed, and as a side note, I want to put in a little bit about water, that just try to make your water as clean as possible. They're not very picky. They'll drink out of a puddle. If they find a puddle, they'll drink out of whatever they can get their hands on. But try to get your water so that it's covered and that the chicken, the way they get their water, uh, whether you use the chicken nipples or whether you use whatever the case may be, make sure that it's covered on top so that they can't get the mud and and fecal matter down in, in the water which will cause you know more sickness the cleaner the water the healthier they'll be some of the these sites i found that are, that have been helpful are backyardchickencoops.com.au it's an australian site and they had some really good information on different kinds of of chicken feed also found a good site from a british woman that is called raising-happy-chickens.com and she had some nice things on uh, feed, what not to feed your chickens and uh, some chicken breeds, that's what I was reading about that that speckled Sussex and uh, she convinced me that I I should try some and the last one I want to do is the prairiehomestead.com and they just had really nice down-to-earth sort of information about uh, chickens and and homesteading in general. And so I think I'm going to be checking their site out some more. So once again, I'd like to say thanks for listening, and please check out our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash havenhomestead. Havenhomestead's all one word. And havenhomestead.com. Thanks again for listening to the Haven Homestead podcast where we learn and grow together on our way to living more sustainable lives.